Hello and welcome. So glad you've joined me for the reading of the word this morning. We are reading as a staff from Proverbs now, and I've selected Proverbs 3, 1 to 12. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. This happens to be my dad's Bible, so it's kind of special for me. And in this section is a verse that, kind of a little gem, uh, I think many of you have heard it, but it is the fifth verse, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. I think a lot of us have been challenged in that way, not depending on our own understanding as we've been walking through this pandemic. But it says, seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. And then the next verse, I just want to point that out because it kind of made me laugh um, before I started the beginning. It says, don't be impressed with your own wisdom. <laughs> That's just laying it out there, isn't it? Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. So I, I just wanted to point that out before I begin at the beginning. So here's Proverbs 3, 1 to 12. My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. What are we writing deep within our hearts? Loyalty and kindness. Then you will find favor with both God and people and you will earn a good reputation. And here's our gem. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Oh, that's a good word. I think a lot of us are needing strength these days. We're getting weary, aren't we? But it says, don't be impressed with your own wisdom, but instead fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your barns with grain and your vats will overflow with good wine. My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when he corrects to when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. The Lord delights in you. You are wonderfully and fearfully made in his image. Be encouraged today. Trust him with all your heart. Don't depend on your own understanding. God's taking care of you and making a way. Be blessed.